Wednesday, March 11th. I'm Jessica Greif. Your Midday Minute starts now. Sylvia Hayes wasn't the only policy advisor in former Governor John Kitzhopper's office who ran a consulting business on the side. The Oregonian's Laura Gunderson looks into the role of Tom Tuckman, Kitzhopper's forestry advisor who also owned a private timber consulting firm. Does this provide another example of Kitzhopper's blind spot for potential ethical conflicts? And how has Governor Kate Brown handled this? Plus, Governor Brown is visiting the Oregonian editorial board today. Stay tuned as the board seeks details on her ethics reform. Crime reporter Maxine Bernstein profiles a man who lost his son in an accidental shooting in Portland Sunday. Find out how Mike Kincaid is handling his grief and hopes other men and women will take notice to what happened. The story has prompted a lengthy conversation from readers about the role of guns. Tomorrow is UO Pro Day, an event for former Duck players headed to the NFL draft. It's not open to the public, but a Reynolds High art teacher and football coach will be there anyway with the hope of getting Marcus Mariota's attention. Find out why in our on-camera interview with the teacher. To learn more about the stories just mentioned, we've linked you to them in this post at OregonLive.com slash Jessica. Thanks for watching Midday Minute. I'm Jessica Greif. Have a great day.